We just received some breaking news to earlier tonight that SoFi is having layoffs. This has not been made official yet by the company through a press release or a statement, although we expect this to come through over the next 24 hours. However, now we're seeing multiple LinkedIn postings for individuals looking for opportunities who were just laid off from SoFi earlier today. And in this video, I'm going to cover everything we know so far. Mind you that this is a developing situation and we're learning more information around it. And probably by the time that you're seeing this video, there has been some official news. But earlier tonight, Tanner broke the news on X where he posted around SoFi having announced a sizable round of recent large layoffs according to multiple employees looking for new opportunities. And a quick LinkedIn search can verify this. I found the same posts of people on LinkedIn, around five or six people who had posted on LinkedIn at the time of this recording. And I wanna just very quickly walk through some of these posts so that we can get an idea of what's going on in these layoffs. Mind you that news is coming out every hour or so from individuals at SoFi who are looking for new opportunities or who are leaking a lot of these news. So obviously it's developing. One of the posts here is by a user researcher at SoFi who had been with the company for about a year and nine months. They said that they were impacted by these layoffs. One thing you'll note here is that this is an individual who started as an intern and eventually moved into a UX researcher position after graduating from university. Another post here comes from a senior front end software engineer who had been with the company for about four years and was laid off. In the post, they announced that this was unexpected. In these next posts, we can see a senior software engineer with over one and a half years experience at SoFi working primarily on their underwriting platform. We can also see another individual here with six and a half years of experience at the company who joined the company back in 2017 and who was an associate manager of the consumer loan operations with a team size of 10 to 15 individuals reporting into them. Now, there's a couple of things that I'll say off the bat. It's very difficult to find patterns because some of these individuals are in engineering and others are not necessarily in engineering, they're in other departments, and they also vary in terms of seniority. Some individuals have been with the company uh, for six years plus, whereas other individuals are maybe fresh out of school or have only been with the company for one or two years. And the other thing I'll say is that I suspect over the next 24 hours, more posts are going to flood through LinkedIn and we should get more of a pattern as to what we're seeing here in terms of what has been targeted specifically by the company in terms of a layoff. Right now, it seems as though there's been about 7% of the company headcount that has been laid off, which is about 300 individuals. Tanner reported this on X although it's also a post on Blind, which is a tech community forum where there's been a post around the SoFi layoffs. This post was made about four hours ago, highlighting that these individuals who were laid off will receive three months severance plus bonus, and it was focused on the engineering department specifically with around 7% of headcount. Now, one of the questions I was asked was whether this was 7% of engineering or 7% of total headcount. Now, we saw on LinkedIn already that there were non-engineering roles affected, so we can deduce that it's 7% of overall. However, there is a comment that clarifies this. And the reason why this is an important question is because the difference here is about 200 individuals. So if I has about 4,200 people, according to Yahoo, so 7% of the total headcount equates to about 300 individuals. If it's 7% of engineering, it's closer to 100 individuals. So the distinction is pretty important. The comments though clarify that it was in fact 7% of the total workforce, which as well as 20% of the engineering force. Now, the comments clarify that everybody had three months severance and it was not you know, a maximum of three months that varied for each individual. So obviously this is a bigger expense to SoFi. Now, before I share some quick thoughts, I'll also note that while I was scrolling on LinkedIn, I did see a number of posts of new individuals who had started at SoFi over the last five days. So it seems as though SoFi is still very actively hiring and it's possible that they're refreshing some of their workforce or they're readjusting their target areas where they wanna focus. A lot of companies have been doing layoffs and usually do layoffs in January as it's the beginning of a new year and they can work towards implementing a new strategy. Unity, for example, just announced 2,500 people laid off a couple days ago. So it's pretty common for layoffs to happen in January specifically. Now I'll share some of my other quick thoughts in the moment as pertains to SoFi. We're getting more defined news around this and we're expecting that more will be clarified in the form of a press release. This may be perceived by the market as a positive as over 2022 and 2023, when the market shifted their perception from high growing to high cash flow and operationally efficient companies, layoffs were seen as a positive thing. As we were going downwards into you know a recession possibly, when companies announced layoffs, 
the market perceived that as this company is decreasing their operating expenses and as a result of that this was a positive thing for the company the stock price went up because the company was decreasing their bloat famously this happened to meta which they announced layoffs and they basically turned their entire stock ticker around however more recently we saw with unity today the stock fell after announcing layoffs a part of this reason could be that we're going into a macro environment that's favorable for growth and layoffs are obviously not great for morale they're also going to affect efficiency in terms of operational ability for the company due to the job there's going to be some knowledge sharing that's going to be lost in that process generally speaking companies don't cut their best people in a layoff they'll cut off where they see lower efficiency or the bloat essentially in that company so typically companies can be leaner and even move faster in the wake of a layoff and really what the market perception is is going to be temporary the timing is interesting because the fourth quarter has closed off and we are officially in the first quarter and this won't really reflect in the numbers for q4 however we should see a reflection in the numbers for q1 some other things to consider around the timing is that this is right before gap profitability is expected to be reported by sofi although like i said before this will not be reflecting in their q4 numbers as q4 already closed and this is also coming at a time when banks are going to be reporting their earnings later on this week on friday a lot of the major banks jp morgan wells fargo Citibank, uh, they're all going to be reporting their earnings so so we're going to see the numbers that they're going to report and also what they're going to be flashing in terms of signals for the market moving forward but um, it all remains to be seen right now we're only operating with very limited amount of information as they just happened earlier tonight and uh, you know sofi will have to bear the expenses of these individuals as they will be paying a maximum of three months severance and bonus for all of these individuals and you know that can also add up especially for individuals who have been with the company for quite a while again i will keep you posted as more news comes out if you're not already following make sure to follow my twitter where i'll be posting periodically more information around these layoffs as i see them for right now this is the fundamentals investing podcast thank you so much for listening